Hey guys, and welcome back to that LP show. The name of the game is Sonic Lost World. Last time, we finished up Desert Ruins, and the Deadly Six, who apparently are members of a species called the Zeddy, somehow managed to gain control of all of Dr. Eggman's robots. And guess what? It's all Sonic's fault. So now, we'll be heading over to Tropical Coast in order to put some distance between us and them, and see if we can formulate a plan for taking them down. Whatever the plan is, I'm pretty sure it involves running really fast. You want to finish loading the stage today, game? Thank you. And we have another cylindrical stage, like Windy Hill Zone 1 and the first part of Zone 4. Desert Ruins was kind of flat and boring, and it seems to be where this game loses a lot of players. Anyway, we have the yellow drill again, and this time, it's underwater, and it's... it's awful. It's horrible. I don't even know how to describe it. I'd explain to you how to control it, but I'm still not 100% sure. You push buttons and it goes up and down, and like you release the button, but you hold it for a certain amount of time to go up a certain distance, and then release it to make it stop, and then press it again and it just goes in the other direction. Whatever. It's stupid, and there's never, ever any point in the game in which we need to use it ever again. So, I just wanted to show off that you can do that. Also, that is the only time we are ever going to submerge ourselves in water. Even here in Tropical Coast, which is mostly a water-themed world. Also, crab meat, kick them, because they're kind of armored. So, don't try to reg do a regular homing attack on them. You kick them, and then you homing attack them. That's how you take them out. You gotta, you know, you gotta break them with that kick. But, yeah, we, we're never again for the duration of this game, going to submerge ourselves in water. Ever. There's no underwater stages in this Sonic game, so we're never going to hear that scary drowning music because we're never, ever, ever going to be in water. Never, 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 ever, ever, never, never, ever, ever, never, ever. Also, we have egg ponds, and just like with crab meat, you can't just do a regular homing attack on them. You have to kick them to break their guard first, and then homing attack them to destroy them. Actually, can you? Can you do that? No, actually, I don't think you can homing attack them at all. I, I think you have to just kick them into each other. So if you see them up in a straight line, uh, you know what? There's some coming out of this section over here. Let me see if I can kick one into the other to destroy it. Yep, that's how you destroy them. Awesome. So yeah, can't just do regular homing attacks on the egg ponds. I don't think they damage you, but you bounce off of them and they don't take damage. Anyway, don't throw up. How does this look at 60 frames per second? Okay, here's a new thing that the game introduced. You have, uh, you have these butterflies that you have to free, and after you free five of them, it brings a flower to life, and we'll eventually uh, use that flower, but first we have these numbered rings that I want to collect here. This is entirely optional, I just feel like showing off where it is, but you don't need to do any of this. This is just for an extra life. There we go. I always get nervous at that part because I'm afraid that I'll go too far. Then I forget that Sonic kind of stops on a dime in this game. But anyway, yeah. Once you attract all five of those butterflower, uh, butterflowers, butterflies to that flower, then you can pretty much turn the flower into a cannon. I'm not going to question it. Okay. There's some animal capsules right here. I guess if you're playing the Wii U version, you don't really need to worry about these things since we have the circus tents. But, if you're playing the PC version, you don't have those, so try to find as many of these as you can. Even, e even if you do have a, a lower paywall. Okay, here's an opportunity for me to explain part of the parkour system. If you run at a wall at an angle, also the faster you go, the more distance you'll get when you actually hit that wall. But if you run at, the, if you run at a wall at an angle, then you'll you'll pretty much break into an obtuse angle and run sideways along the wall. Unlike when you run directly into a wall while standing perpendicular to it, and then you'll just run straight up the wall. Anyway, be careful. These uh, these cans pretty much follow you from left and right, so just go ahead and uh, stay away from them while you gather up these butterflies. Or butterflowers, whatever you want to call them. I'm almost sure that out of the millions of Pokemon that are out there, there is one called Butterflower. And if there isn't, there will be. Oh, there will be. It wasn't me who burned down the school, it was the Butterflower, I tell ya. The Butterflower. Nobody ever suspects the Butterflower. 
Okay, well, if you're playing the game in this section, you'll see all of these extra lives and all of these rings, and you'll probably be tempted to go after all of them, and I usually do go after all of them, but for the sake of uh, expediting this LP, I'm going to... I'm, I'm just going to get what I need to get, and I'm going to get out of here. I'll get what I can along the path. Also, you may have noticed that I got a red ring from a capsule. That is the only point in the game in which you can get a red ring from a capsule. Aww. Sometimes, I guess I should have gone a little higher there. Sometimes I can just dive straight down onto the button. It's worth a lot of points if you can chain all of that together. Alas, poor Cuba. I knew him well. Read Hamlet. That is not how the line goes. Or maybe it is. I haven't read Hamlet since high school. Some sort of a natural inhibitor to their powers. Very painful. And very rare. The Zeti have an innate ability to manipulate magnetic fields. They can make electronics, including my mechs, do interesting things. Ah, so they're technopaths. Powers with the punk. Until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Well, get lost, Eggman. He is right. Under control. Tails tried to warn him, too. All those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hand. Well, there you go, folks. The motion is passed unanimously. I didn't raise my hand. Funny how Eggman would intentionally program a robot to, you know, think and feel on his own so he can, you know, hate him. Why would you program a robot to not like you? And then there's Qbot. If I were to build a robot and find out that he was retarded, I would immediately shut him down and try again. Hello, not Yoda. I take care of these matters. The rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. Oh, he must be important if they actually spoke his name out loud. Not even you get that, Zavik. Nobody actually says your name anywhere in the game. You have to go online to find out who you are. I guess that makes Zaz the most important because he's been in more than just this game. He's been in the most games. I know he was in Sonic Dash. He's in Sonic Runners. I haven't played that long enough to uh, find out if any of the other Zeti are in there, but yeah, Z Zaz definitely has been in more games than any of the other Zeti. Anyway, welcome to Supersonic Sunshine Galaxy! This stage's gimmick is there's a bunch of interconnected islands and we have to go from one to another by luring giant homicidal fruit into blenders, and then we got a juice! So yeah, Master Zick. To give you a little backstory, which I actually looked up online because the game itself isn't gonna friggin' tell you, he was the Zeddy who started the Deadly Six, and then I guess after a while he just let Zavik assume control of the team so he could go ahead and retire. He's also apparently the one who trained Zavik. Yeah, the... The Deadly Six. I know a lot of people criticize them for being very one-dimensional in this game, but I think there's a lot of story left to tell. Anyway, we got the orange rocket here, and you can aim it with the gamepad's gyro function and press the A button to fire it away. You can also aim it with the control stick, but it seems to move really slowly when you do that, so this is another case where I much prefer to use the motion controls. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to lure that giant watermelon over there into the blender over here. And yeah, don't get too close or it jumps up in the air and does that. But that's not big of a... that much... Eh, that's not much... That's not that big of a deal. Wow, English? Do you speak it, Mike? Talking to myself now. Great, awesome. Anyway, we need to do this twice. Once to break away the totem, and then one to lure it into the blender. Hopefully it doesn't hit another totem pole, or else we'll have to do it again. Kind of pace-breaking for a Sonic game, but I can't really complain because I've played Super Mario Sunshine, and that has an infinitely worse watermelon-guiding mini-game challenge thing, whatever you want to call it. Also, the cock blowers are back. Yeah, I, no, no, you know what? No, they're cock blowers. They're cocks and they blow. They are cock blowers. And I don't want to hear anybody calling them anything else. 
well, I, I I can't remember what they're called. I know they were in Sonic and Knuckles. I call them cock blowers, which probably isn't very appropriate, but you know, whatever. Oh, did I say Sonic and Knuckles? I'm sorry. I meant Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's it's all one game. It's all one game. God forbid anybody from the Sonic Retro community watches this video. Fucking nerds. Yeah, you're all a bunch of nerds and weirdos. Says the war vet in his 30s who's doing a Let's Play of a Sonic game on YouTube. I'm a husband and father. I have a perfect excuse for not having a life. My life revolves around my wife, and my wife's life revolves around our children, and our children's lives revolve around school, and our granddaughter revolves around the coffee table. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Who the hell gave this kid sugar? Oh, that's right, it was me, because she's not my responsibility. My skills are sharper than your words, Brad. <laughs> What insult, Zick? I've never met you face to face. I've seen you in a cutscene, of course, but Sonic hasn't met you face to face. He hasn't insulted you. He hasn't even spoken to you. What the hell are you talking about? Anyway, we have these moto bugs everywhere around these tiny little totem cannons, and after you destroy every single group of them, then the big totem disappears and you get another rocket. Go ahead and line up with the rings. I don't think I quite got it. Yeah, I'm going to miss the last few. Oh, I don't think I mentioned before, when you're free-falling like that, you want to hold down the ZR button so you can dive faster. Okay, first fight with Master Zick. What we want to do is we want to lure him into this blender so he juices down his apple. Best way is to run past him so he goes right for it. If he rolls around uh, a little too long, what he'll do is he'll stop. You'll actually hear the sound of brakes screeching as he stops his giant apple, and then he'll um, he'll send out these spike balls that move really slowly, and they're super easy to dodge. And speaking of super easy, that is yet another boss fight over so quickly, I didn't even have time to explain it. It's worth noting that he shoots out three electric balls when he's running from you, so you want to wait for him to fire all three of those before you go in for the attack. Anyway, I bet all that fruit juice is making Sonic's quills all gross and sticky. Fortunately, we just unlocked a watery stage where we can rinse ourselves off, but that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show, and have a one that is good.